Assalamualaikum students welcome to my channel students in this video I am going to discuss about the protective mechanism of the gastric mucosa how the gastric mucosa is protected from injury and the auto digestion so in this video I will elaborate the protective mechanism by which the gastric mucosa is saved from the attack of certain powerful enzymes and the acidic compounds as the gastric mucosa faces very powerful enzymes and the acid compounds present in the gastrointestinal tract especially in the stomach so the gastric mucosa may undergo the injury or auto digestion to save the gastric mucosa there is the protective mechanism in this video i will focus on the mechanism of the protection of the gastric mucosa from the attack of powerful enzymes and certain acid conditions so let's start and try to understand as the gastric mucosa may be damaged or digested by the pepsin and HCL which are secreted especially in the stomach so there are the protective mechanism to save the gastric mucosa from injury or auto digestion these protective mechanisms are at the pre epithelial level and at the epithelial level and the sub epithelial level at the pre epithelial level at this level there is the mucus coating or layer of mucus gel which are secreted or produced by the mucin or gastric juices etc this mucus layer covers the surface epithelium this mucus layer also has the layer of the bicarbonate ions that prevent to attack of the HCl on the epithelium these bicarbonate ions trap in the mucus and create a pH gradient from the 1 to 2 pH in the lumen to the 6 to 7 at the mucosal surface. So the mucus and the bicarbonate ions layer protect the HCl attack on the epithelium of the gastric mucosa. Then at the epithelial level, at this level there are the tight intercellular junctions. There are the tight intercellular junctions. These junctions have no gap between the cells. So the surface epithelial cells are joined to each other by the tight intercellular junctions. Here you can see in this diagram, these are the junctions present between the cells. No gap between these cells. So epithelial cells provide mucus and bicarbonate ions to pre-epithelial mucus gel. So pepsin or HCl cannot leak out through the epithelial cells layer and attack or damage the mucosa so this is the protective mechanism at the epithelial level then third mechanism at the epithelial level is the restitution process by which the epithelial cells migrate to the injured area in their vicinity without the cell division which also help in the repairment of the epithelium so sub epithelial level there is the microcirculation at this level there is the effective microcirculation here you can see in this diagram there is the effective microcirculation in which the nutrients and oxygen is supplied and toxic metabolic products are removed out from the epithelium from the cells to the circulation prostaglandin also help in prevention from the injury so this is the complete mechanism by which the gastric mucosa is saved from injury or auto digestion which is the responsible for the effective GIT functions thank you very much